I'm Matt Kenny, and here's some Canadian news. I know it can be hard to understand what the politicians are really saying, so I'm here to translate it for you. Hi there, I've got a question back to the numbers. There's this 925 million figure for environmental NGOs that uh, you've referenced, and this is in the government's response to this as well. Almost half of that is from, or two rather, Ducks Unlimited. The majority of that money is to groups that uh, Steve Allen identifies as not being participants in anti-energy campaigns. The same thing goes with the federal grants. The majority of the money detailed here are going to groups that he's very clear are not part of this. So I'm just wondering, why are those included? Is that inflating uh, the scope of this foreign funding issue if most of the money identified here uh, are going to groups that really have nothing to do with what we're talking about? Well, I think a lot of the money that was identified in the report went to organizations that participated in the campaign, and particularly the federal federal gov government funding. To just take a look at how much moved to uh, Tides Canada um, after 2018, how much went to World Wildlife Fund after 20, pardon me, after 2015, how much went to World Wildlife Fund after 2015 and the Pembina Institute. I think those are real, real numbers and real, real things that should be, should be looked into. Again, getting back to the, the amounts of money, I think it just accentuates the need for transparency. And as I said earlier, it's like throwing a penny into a muddy pond. It's pretty hard to find, and the deeper it sinks, the harder it is to find it. It's murkier and muddier, and then it hits the mud on the bottom, and you can never find it. It's gone forever. So um, I think that's the things this report addresses. Yes! The numbers are inflated! And that's why it's so confusing! Because we're saying it's confusing! And muddying the numbers with literal mud metaphors! So we can say it's more confusing than it actually is. I've got a follow-up. I mean, again, the report makes it clear that when it comes to this, you know, whatever it's the 925 or 1.28 billion, more than half of the money that is being included in the top-line numbers have nothing to do, according to Steve Allen, with anti-energy campaigns. Again, almost half of the NGOs is to Ducks Unlimited. So I'm just wondering why that's all wrapped together and are you inflating the numbers to make no. this seem like more than it is? I think the numbers, the numbers described in the report are enormously large. There's about $15 billion he traced coming across the border to charitable interests. As I said earlier, a lot of that's benign, um, but we don't know. We don't know. Uh, he traced 1.28 going to environmental initiatives and segmented it down to what it might be knowing that he had trouble tracing, following the wording in the grants. And of that, he found significant funds going to marine initiatives and conservation initiatives, and uh, some that he couldn't trace to, uh, to, an, to, uh, to blocking resource development, but it's noted nonetheless. And I think what it points to is the need for transparency, the need for transparency to understand the money coming across. Because again, to go back, to, to what I said previously, that money is being used to target domestic policy, domestic legislation, regulations, regulatory processes, and even the regulator itself. So that shouldn't, all Canadians should be concerned about this. This isn't just an Alberta issue. I think uh, other governments should be concerned with that level of money that's crossing the border, crossing the border and not in a transparent way. I think uh, that that needs to be disclosed and we need greater accountability and governance of these organizations. Yes, we're inflating the numbers. We needed to justify the war room and the Allen report. So we had to come up with a scapegoat. We took some shit for ripping on Albertan activists. So we're switching tempo a little bit and saying the real threat is from foreign activists. 